the side of Liquid right now is just not there. And now she's ready to go back. back. And again, Jackson with a wrap around the combo. Now that's a mind control. The cooldown's there. Liquid out to back off. Again, mind control's matter. Pretty much got He's able to pop the stick. Get the GA off at least. Can they fight for the duration of it though? They're heading towards Sam. He also pop. Sends back pretty much up to four. Jackson with a double combo onto We Are. We Are stunned up. We Are dead. Miracles the UFO. Mr. the Miss up. Follow through. OG pushing Liquid back to the base. Mind control out of the top. So with his defusal blade picking them apart. Percent cuts him down. Oh, Shepard, double kill. They're pushing on OG. Liquid getting forced back to the base. As Liquid have nothing. They have nothing to offer, folks. They're just giving. Look at this. They're diving fountain and TI finals. They want Karoki in the fountain as well. They're gonna get him. They're chasing Miracle as well. Oh my God. I can't believe this. I can't believe what we're seeing in this game for OG. You thought you saw it all the game too. You thought it saw all the game too. These last three games didn't even seem close. Liquid, they had something going for themselves, but then they hit the brick wall. OG is the, the, the best, best team in the world. They, they are on a completely no different question, level. No question. They are so far ahead of anybody else that plays this game for a living. Game two, three, and four were absolutely ridiculous. The showing was magical from OG. They just seem to know exactly what to do with whatever draft they're giving. It doesn't matter. They have so many different drafts, so many different play styles. They can execute all of them. Liquid seemed like they stood no oh, chance after that first and game. They've earned their money. $15 million, just over in fact, going the way of OG for this victory on top of the $11 million they won last year. Unbelievable performance by them and in such a style. Busting out the carry IO in the final game, having a timber saw that they haven't played too much at all either. These guys can play anything. They absolutely can. Innovators, magicians, bringing something new to the game. And when it counts the most in the grand finals, game one was shaky. We had a bit of fun. Game two, three, and four, they played their hearts out for every single minute of the matches. OG, the best team of all time. And with this, their second TI win. And not just the second TY win, but the second back-to-back. -back. They do it two years in a row. There is no question that we are witnessing the best team of all time. I'm, I'm at a loss of words from the way that they played this. It was just an absolute beatdown. They just, they're just way too good at Dota. And this sort of accomplishment, the first team to do it, two times back-to-back. -back. The thing that so many TI winners in the past have dreamt of. Winning one TI, of course, is fabulous, but to do two, that was always the goal for all of our previous champions. And here in 2019, the International 2019, OG are the ones to do it first. The two-time TI champions, OG, ladies and gentlemen. And here we have it. The team, I believe, preparing to lift up what is rightfully theirs for the second time in a row. There he is, Seb himself, so leading the crew up to the podium. You cannot help but be awestruck by what this team has shown us in this entire run in these two years and now in the grand finals. Ladies and gentlemen, it's OG! Okay, um, 
n o t e l OK， so， 那我相信在这一刻，他们作为卫冕冠军，并且再次夺得 T I 冠军，一定有很多话想说。那我们先来问一下，呃，队长 n o t e l 现在有什么话想对他们的粉丝和对 DOTA 二的粉丝们讲的吧？来，有请我们的翻译 Josh。当中。Okay. Here, here, here. I got him. No tell. No tell. <laughs> Sorry, but no tell. Yeah. So we're gonna ask you two questions. So the first one, please. First of all. You're the first player. You guys are the first players to ever win two-time TI champions as the captain of this team. How does it feel right now? It's, it's very hard to believe, man. It's, it's extremely hard to believe, but it's too, it's too good to be true, and it feels feels just the same. It feels so good, man. Hello, 那么第二个问题，想问一下 Nota， 此时此刻有什么想对自己的家人和队友们说的呢？啊，就刚刚我还是翻译一下吧。Notel 刚刚说就是真的难以置信，然后这一次第二次跟第一次还是一样的感觉，真的是太棒了。嗯，然后刚,刚有什么想对粉丝和家人、队友们说的 ？And then, uh, second, what do you have to say to your fans, friends, family at home? Thank you, everyone, for making this possible. This is this is a dream, and I'm an animal, apparently. <laughs> 
all the friends and family is like they've been giving a spot like on the floor on the stage floor so that they can witness it super close by but also so that they can either be there to share the happy moment or be there to share the sad moment and of course in OG's case they were cheering and rowdy the, the last game as, uh, as OG was uh, once again very dominant in their IO performance. There's so what, many, a, what an achievement. So many great storylines that get wrapped up in this. Uh, no Tail pushing Seth forward. He tells him to claim the Aegis. Like, this is every player's dream. Do you remember when Curl won the Aegis? He wouldn't let go of that thing. He clutched to it. He desperately held on to that Aegis no matter what. And the fact that No Tail pushes Seb forward, just like he said in his interview, he said, I'm dedicating this tournament to Seb. That friendship meant everything in the world to him, and that's why he gives Seb the opportunity to be the first one to hoist the Aegis for the team. Yeah, five days ago, they put that Aegis on the throne, and now they're taking it back again, and uh, they deserve it. They are best team in the world, and probably the best, I'm not probably, they are the best team that we ever witnessed in Dota, for sure. It's such a fun play style to be able to go. What yeah. a good what a good team for Dota too. And how fitting that that IO carry is the one that is gonna be on all the Aegis is that that's gonna be uh, there because it all starts with the story of being able to uh, be be able to trust your teammates, yep. right? They that's wanna true. be able to do something and being able to just fearlessly say Go for it. It, it embodies their style. From the tethering to one another to the, yeah, we never practiced this. Let's put it in the group stage and destroy it. And, it, and it's working out, you know? It's, we all, we've all seen True Sight. You know, we all know in what fashion they, they won the first what time round. It's like, what do you like to play? You know, that was the style. Not what is good here or something, or not what is the strategy. No, what would you like to play in the final game of the grand finals of the international? And that is saying a lot. I've heard that Johan's a, a big fan of, uh, of Wings and still looks back and watches those games. And I, I think it's kind of evident in their play style. Because like, I get those, like, no other team has made me have those emotions and thoughts watching a game where I'm just like so befuddled but so insanely impressed. And I'm just like, what are these guys doing? How is it working? And that they're catching everyone off guard and now. They just have the full on respect of two years. Yep. And we saw Anna with that Aegis. This is his third international. It's all been all G OG all the way for him. Third international, second Aegis. So impressive. And of course, tops on two international. Two. There, I don't think that there is ever going to be anyone to repeat that. Two internationals, back to back, two champions. I, I thought they it was could do it next year, someone. huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's the question. To me, I look at these guys and I say, they want a three peak. <laughs> I see it already. I mean, there's no way they're slowing down now. I have a quote from Jarek's that I think is, is pretty cool. He said, uh,